Hello all and welcome to another night's beer review, which I'm dubbing yet more insomnia beer review because um, I still had insomnia last night after sleeping good for a couple nights. Um, but I'm going to drink beer anyway. And so the next one from the beer camp across the world, 2017, East Meets West IPA. This is um, in collaboration with Treehouse Brewing Company, um, which I am not sure where it is, but... This is a New England style IPA, which is a style I haven't really had before. I've had the New England influenced one, you know, those kind of tropical ones, but never a true New England style, mainly because I live on the most west of the West Coast, literally. Well, not counting the Aleutians. But, um, you know, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one. This one comes in the tall boy. So let's read the back, shall we? In just a few short years, Treehouse has made a big impact on the beer scene with their approach to the IPA. Low bitterness, intense juicy hop flavor, and unfiltered haze. As fellow lovers of the IPA, we combined our styles, the classic America IPA malt body, and the New England approach to hopping, resulting in a lightly bitter, unfiltered beer with huge hop flavor. So, hallmarks of the New England style, unfiltered. Not as piney, not as resiny, not as bitter as the West Coast style. Some people have said, kind of just tastes like grapefruit juice though. And I'm kind of curious right now. Go and see what this turns out. Now this is 7.0 ABV, so a bit on the heavy side. I'm going to be pouring this into the regular craft glass. Hmm. Now the most famous New England... IPA is, of course, uh, Heady Topper from The Alchemist, which I haven't tried, and I probably never will try unless, for some reason, I make it to Vermont or something, because it's not very well produced and it's bootleg like hell, and I am not going to go and pay a ridiculous price for beer. So, hazy golden, but not super cloudy. It's more translucent than anything else. I've seen cloudier ones out of your IPAs. Nicely carbonated <clears throat> with a thick white head that is redolent of citrus juiciness. Sort of that ozone smell. Mild bit of dankness. More or less free of the piney notes though. Very juicy, very mouth-watering. And then I have to say, yeah, perceptually this is not very bitter. Um, mainly that's due to the fact that while it's balanced, you know, there's not much of that really um, drying, you know, piney hot bitterness in the finish. It's mostly up forward, hop forward, hence hop forward, you know. Big orange juice. Hints of grapefruit, but leaning more towards, you know, kind of a drier orange juice kind of flavor up front and into the mids. Very juicy, very mouth watering on the palate, especially in the mid palate. Exceedingly refreshing for a 7.0. This could be dangerous. The finish, hot bitterness, but subdued. Kind of pine resiny, but again, subdued. Cleans the palate, you know, clears the palate. You know, clears that excess sugar off from the malts. But it's not, it's not tongue scorchingly bitter. Honestly, not too, not too sweet in the front either. There's hints of sweetness around the edges of the front and in the mids and even in the finish there. 
But, you know, the main show there is that sort of juicy hoppiness. And the front and mids. It is nicely well balanced, and to be honest, I'm really quite enjoying this. This is how, this is, you know, how I feel like, even though it's a 7.0, this is how perceptually I would think like a session IPA should be. It is, this is very drinkable. Nice lacing too, by the way. Big effervescent notes, but they really match, you know, what's going on in your tongue. So, you know, you're not really having um, two different things going on there. But it is nice to have that intensity there. Take a sip and kind of breathe in at the same time. But it's sort of aerate on the tongue. You know, just kind of saturate all your senses in that juiciness. All in all, being that this is my first time trying what is pretty much close to a true blue New England style, I'm, I'm pretty well chuffed. Um, I can see how someone who could drink a lot of these could get tired of it if it's, uh, you know, if the profile kind of gets very much the same. Um, you know, same kind of like how I've been burnt out on the West Coast IPA style because I've just drank so many tongue scorchingly bitter hot bombs. It's like, eh. You know, I need something different. This is nice and different, and I'm enjoying it. What I like most about it, just the drinkability. As it warms up, though, it's kind of showing its heft a bit more, I have to say. But still, not a hint of booziness whatsoever. Sweetness is kind of showing up a little bit more, too. But still balanced with the hot bitterness. Yeah. So I've kind of run out of things to say here. You know? Actually, as it warms up, the finish is kind of taking on a little bit of a lemon in your note. So the citrus is starting to reach back into the finish beyond that hot bitterness and sort of leaving a uh, lemony zest, maybe sort of lemon verbena like notes in the finish there too, along with the hot bitterness. Which is also pleasant. But again, all in all, not overly complex, just a very nice, well-rounded beer, and you know, probably a great, ex great introduction to the uh, New England IPA style. Even though it says East meets West, who knows? Maybe someday I'll get to go to the East Coast and try a true New England style and kind of see how it really is. Maybe it's even more juicy than this, which would be an interesting thing to kind of go and try. But as it is, I kind of, I'm kind of liking this sort of. You know, I wouldn't say the malts are amped up because it doesn't taste sugary or cloying like I've had with some unbalanced sort of Imperial IPAs, which are much more um, apt to having that uh, overbalance on the malts or and hop side, really, where it comes kind of overbalanced on two sides and they don't really mesh together. But, you know, a nice, well-balanced, kind of focusing on a different flavor profile, and that is, you know, just... Honing in on citrus juiciness. Not tropical juiciness like some tropical IPAs, but just kind of citrus juiciness. You know, the various citrus fruits. And um, I guess that's our beer review for tonight. East meets West IPA. Pretty interesting uh, little thing here. Give it a shot. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers. <laughs>